What is going on, Bronze Back Slaying homies? My name is Tyler, and we are back on another episode of DC Bronzies. Today, I believe, is gonna be the last ice outing of the year. I'm going for walleye today on the Bay of Green Bay. I was out here yesterday with Trent, and we actually did get some nice fish. So today, I'm hoping to get a few fish. My dad and I are out this afternoon, and we're gonna fish up until dark. It took us almost all day to figure out this bite yesterday and figure out where the fish are. As the day went on, it got better and better and we figured it out. So I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips on how to catch these big Green Bay walleyes through the ice. And um, I don't know, this ice chunk will probably be blowing out here in the next couple days. So unfortunately, this will probably be the last of it. If you guys can't tell, I really enjoy my ice fishing. I have a ton of fun with it. If you have not subscribed, subscribe down below, hit me with a comment, like the video. Let's get right into it and catch some walleyes. Get on that ice, watch it on that ice. Oh, that's a decent one. <laughs> Brandon's hooked up. It's a good fish. This kid's making all the noise in the world and he steals my fish. <laughs> fish comes over on me, leaves, comes over and hits his. That's a nice fish. It had to be the same one. I'm literally 20 feet away. That's a nice one. Yeah. Well, that's a decent fish. Not while we're after. Oh, oh she must be hooked deep. She's definitely deep. Oh, you need that players, huh? Yeah. It's bigger. <laughs> All right. Frank Ingles out of that one. Yeah. yeah I, mean. I didn't even see that. She's begging. Did the same thing, slow fall. Yeah, yeah. I'm struggling. He didn't get a mark. Always oh, small. Yeah. You pin it? That's a good view. You keep it. But you're going to keep on, right? Alright, guys. He pinned it. Wait. <laughs> All right, there we go, guys. 19. <laughs> oh, I just had a white fish. I thought it was a walleye. For a white fish, that's a big one. Holy crap. That's, that's like a, a 23. That's probably the biggest white fish I've ever caught. Now you got the bump right there for you. Did he bite it like a log? Yep. Really? Same deal. That's definitely a master. Well, guys, my dad just caught this perch. Absolute jumbo. We're going to put him on the bump here. 12 inches. I had is a perch, probably the biggest perch I've ever seen. Beauty. Yeah, I'm marking them along here. I just had one too. It's about the size of Brendan and Just want to take a second fishing has kind of been slow I haven't marked a whole lot i want to take a second and explain what we're doing kind of why we're doing it just some of the basics here currently i am using a number three jigging wrap with a minnow head 
on the treble. Yesterday we found that the size threes and fives were working pretty well. Um, I had a purple color that was working really well all day. What we're doing is we're fishing about 10 to 11 feet of water. So in that depth range, this water is really clear. The ice is only like five inches thick. So with that, the fish are really spooky. So we try to make as little noise as possible and kind of try to move around as little as possible, kind of stay in, in one place. But we found yesterday, once we found fish, that the jigging cadence was key. What we were doing with our jigging cadence is we were leaving the bait on the bottom because these fish are coming around scooping up gobies. So basically we're kind of imitating the goby. It didn't have to be a natural goby color. We were catching fish on other colors like white and, and purple. So any of that's working, but you want to work the bait as if it's a goby. So key is when these fish come in, usually they'll zoom in onto the screen. And once they're on the screen, all you want to be doing is you want to be doing a short rip up, but after you rip it up, you want to let it back down with your arm. So I'll rip up like this and then slowly back down to touch contact the bottom. And when, even when those fish are there, that's what you want to be doing. Make it a little more subtle than when you're trying to call them in. But we found that by letting our arm just go down with the bait a little bit slower, not just that fall after you rip it up and let it go down. That was triggering many more bites. I had multiple fish on me throughout the day. I wasn't getting them to bite. Finally, I was told by Trent's dad that he thought that the bait that uh, Trent's brother was using had a slower fall rate. It wasn't a jigging wrap, excuse me. So what I did on my next fish is I tried fishing it slower. Sure enough, I'm ripping it up as the fish comes in, not, you know, pretty subtle. But this time, I let the bait go down with my arm much slower and contact bottom. On the next rip up, sure enough, fish on. These fish will suck the baits up on the fall. So that's kind of the basics of what we're doing. Cadence is everything. I've, I know I've said this before, whether it be ice fishing or open water, I believe that cadence is huge. I think color is important, bait size important, all that stuff's important. But in my opinion, when it really comes down to it, it's how you're working your bait. Sometimes those subtle changes can really catch you more fish. Let's get back to fishing. Soon it's gonna get good. I think it's around 5.30, 6 o'clock right now apparently before dark bite really does pick up trent had a nice 28 and a half inch fish last night before dark so let's go get some more fishing done got a fish on me guys he hit it come on come back he's back oh he smoked it i'm a fall he smoked it god i can't get him oh my god he's back that's what I'm doing guys, that little kind of rip up like this and then set it back down to the bottom, rip up, set it back down to the bottom. Good? Have you seen it? It's a lot. Crazy. Decent fish, but it's not huge. Oh, we ate. oh that's bigger than I thought. Oh, oh. Shit. Well guys, I successfully just lost that fish for my dad. Unfortunately, luckily it wasn't too big. Uh, grabbed the line and didn't put a whole lot of pressure on it. It's part of the game, I guess. Big mark right here. Oh, missed him again. I am just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Fish are starting to show up again. It's weird, they're coming up really hard today. They weren't doing that yesterday. So I don't know if I, I'm like, oh, do I drop it back down or do I try to get him to raise? He's still there. He locked on bottom. He won't eat it, he's still here. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed or if you're new, go subscribe down below. Hit me with a comment if you got any questions or any um, future videos that you would like to see. I'm a little bit sad that the ice fishing season is over as I was in college this year and I wasn't able to ice fish as much as I have in previous years. But we got plenty of walleye videos coming along with smallies this spring. So that is going to be a ton of fun. You guys can look forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys for watching. We will catch you in the next episode of DC Bronzies. See ya. Yeah.